Welcome back to the webcast. MVAC D on our, our second stage has begun engine chill, and it is about to briefly reignite for the second and final burn of tonight's mission. And then it will begin. And deployment of today's payloads. First will be Space IL and then the new Centaur sat satellite. As we mentioned earlier, another payload will be riding along on today's mission, an experimental small satellite for the U.S. Air Force Research Lab, but we won't be able to catch uh, footage of that particular deployment this evening. We'll see a second engine start at at T plus 27 minutes, and it'll be burning over Gabon for, oh, it's burning right now. There we go, it's lit. <laughs> uh, so you can see that, that gorgeous glow. It's burning over Gabon now for about a minute, and then we'll have second engine cutoff. Um, around T of MVAC shut down there as that red glow be and confirmation that the MVAC shot down there as that red glow slowly begins to fade away. Now we're just going to wait till no, 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 we orbit, have orbit. good orbit. We just had confirmation that stage two is in a good just after T plus 33 minutes. Coming up on our first deployment of the night, the Space IL Lunar Lander, in just about 10 seconds from now, 18 seconds from now. Now you should be able to see this on your screen. And we've got confirmation of separation. And you can kind of see that there on your screen. bit bright there because of the sun so it's very difficult to see separation there but uh, 
but we've had a successful deployment of the Space IL Lunar Lander, a first non-governmental lander to make its way to the moon. Here's a little more insight on its journey to space. Spaceflight makes getting to space easy and affordable. We have years of experience helping customers execute their missions, providing rideshare on nearly every launch vehicle in the world.